Hey friends, I hope you're staying safe during this COVID-19 quarantine. I'm getting a lot of hobbying done. That's the bright side out of this pandemic. But um, I wanna show you this model from the Dragon's Rest. Uh, this is called the Dragon's Crest model. And obviously it is based off of, although not identical, to the Razor's Crest from the Mandalorian. And so I printed out this set and painted it with just a rattle can of silver, all of the parts, both the inside and the outside. So the painting of this is gonna be a lot easier. A uh, week ago, I made a how to paint video for this grasshopper, um, heavy drop ship. And one, one report that I wanna say, one of my viewers reminded me that you can magnetize these tops, which I did. And Dragon's Rest actually creates clips where you can put in five millimeter magnetic balls so you don't have to worry about the polarity of the magnets and, and they just snap on like this and can be taken off really easily. And so thanks to um, viewers like you, uh, I'm always uh, getting good ideas as well. But the highlight about this model is that Dragon's Rest is making it the STL file free. So if you own a 3D printer, you don't even have to pay for this awesome model. So check this out. Now I'm not going to do a full painting tutorial like I did for the grasshopper, but I am going to show you how to basically weather it a little bit with some washes. But again, the paint job on this is going to be really easy. As well, what I did was I made a little baby Yoda and I've already painted him up using contrast colors and I used my resin printer. Also with the Dragon's Crest, uh, they have the STL files for the little egg the uh, transport pod. Now, um, here's a contrast between the my 3D printer, which I printed at 0.2 millimeter height, and this is my resin printer. Obviously, the resin printer is a lot smoother, but I think the FDM printer also looks pretty good as well. And I know it is oversized, so here's my Mandalorian. This is actually the Boba Fett from Star Wars Imperial Assault, and I just painted him up with Mandalorian colors and clipped his viewfinder here. And I think uh, using the browns uh, and the silver makes him look pretty close to the TV show. Not exact, but that's okay. And I know that the egg is disproportionately large and even Baby Yoda is too big based off of the scale from uh, the show. Because look how big he is. And in the show, I mean, he is tiny. So that's okay for me because in practical gaming purposes, I'm going to be mounting this onto a regular base. Just make it more easily able to move him around rather than having this tiny minuscule model. Uh, again, these are resin printed as well. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you how to do a wash. And again, click on this video here because I just used Goobertown Hobbies uh, recipe for how to make your own wash because you're going to be using a lot of it for terrain and for this model. All right, so what you want to do is just paint up all of the furniture uh, that's on the inside. And so I, I was looking at screenshots of the Mandalorian and his the inside of a spaceship is actually pretty dark. But I didn't want to paint up the inside to be black or dark. Since there's so many windows, I want people to be able to see what's inside fairly easily. So I'm just going to keep it all silver and that makes the paint job pretty easy. I'm going to make the seats uh, this dark brown because a lot of the Mandalorian I've noticed uh, things are brownish, sort of earth tones and orangish. And this ship does have some kind of markings on it. I think it on the side it sort of reminded me of the Avengers A. I don't think it's an actual A, but um, I'm not going to try to recreate that either. So. I'm just going to weather this thing and call it a day and pretty much just paint up the seats and whatnot, the odd things here and there.
So look how cool this looks. I think it turned out pretty amazing and the paint job was relatively easy to do. As you can see the wash sort of made it a little bit dirtier and more used. And I didn't use a wash on the inside just to create a contrast. And um, the difference is subtle but I think an important one. So the model I think is just amazing and turned out super well. And overall uh, looks amazing. And although it isn't an exact replica of the Razor Crest in The Mandalorian, uh, I think it's close enough, especially to be able to use in my Star Breach uh, games as I'm making The Mandalorian one of the hunters. And so this is going to work great for Star Breach battle reports, and I'm looking forward to using this awesome ship. And the windows were relatively easy to put in, and so I don't think that was a big problem. My laminator, and just laminated a 0.3 mil uh, sheet without anything in between, and just cut that, and it's pretty flexible. And it went in there pretty easily. And I think it looks awesome. I do know that they did come out, after I printed this, they did come out with... Um, this piece that you can put in a tea light so that there's lights in there. Uh, but I think it looks good as is. So definitely impressed with this model and thankful to Dragon's Rest for making this STL file free. For anyone with a 3D printer, you guys can definitely uh, download this and print it yourselves. And as you can see, it's super easy to paint. Go ahead and, and check out the links below to check that out. Definitely, I think this pod that carries Baby Yoda looks awesome, too. And so that turned out super well. And again, inside. I put uh, Baby Yoda in there as well inside the cockpit. And so I think that looks pretty cool. You can check out the cargo area and somewhat the contrast between the washed outside exterior and the clean inside. So you can tell a little bit of a difference, although it isn't really big. So this definitely looks super, super cool. I will probably magnetize the front to take this off the cockpit, but leave these clips in for this middle piece because I'm afraid that this is so heavy that it won't stay on very well. So this is another great piece from Dragon's Rest. So go ahead and click like if you like the video and subscribe to check out more of my train building videos. and. Check out my Patreon page because we are going to be giving away, if my um, $10 and above Patreon supporters, they're voting right now, but this is up for a vote, and so if they vote for this, the giveaway at the end of April 2020 will be one of these printed, and so you'll have an opportunity to win one of these. And if we stay above the $100 threshold total in Patreon, uh, it will come painted. And I'll include a little Baby Yoda uh, in the set for you, too. So definitely become a Patreon supporter if you want to get in on that raffle. Otherwise, we will see you next time, and happy gaming.